Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Azure Role-Based Access Controls, RBAC. So this isn't a service in particular, but it's more of a concept of how um, all the components of gaining access to resources works. So Azure Role-Based Access Control helps you manage who has access to resources, what they can do with those resources, and what areas they have access to. Uh, so you have uh, role assignments, and this is the way you control access to resources. So a role assignment uh, consists of th uh, three elements. You have the security principle, the role definition, and the scope. So talking about the security principle first, this represents the identity requesting access to the Azure resource. So this is who wants to have access. You, ha you could have a user, which is an individual profile in your Azure Active Directory. You could have a group of users uh, in your Azure Active Directory. You could have a service principle. So this is a security identity used by applications or services uh, to access specific Azure resources. This is what a, a service wants access. And you have managed identity. This is identity in Azure Active Directory that is automatically managed by Azure. That one's a bit more harder to describe, but that's not that important for the exam. Uh, then the last part a component here is scope. So this is the set of resources that uh, um, uh, the set of resources that the role assignment is going to be granted access to. So scoping uh, scope access controls at the management subscription or resource group level. Um, so to explain that, uh, the, the the idea that I'm trying to get here is that you have resources down below, right? And that is what you want to gain access to. But you can set scope at the management group level. You can set scope at the subscriptions level. You can set scope at the resource groups levels. So just to talk about those three, management group is when you're managing a bunch of accounts. Subscription is an individual account. And resource groups is a, a grouping of resources. So wherever you want to apply that scope, you can choose any, any one of those three there. Um, now looking at a role definition. So a role definition is a collection of permissions uh, and so remember when we were talking about um, a policy earlier, this is kind of where that comes in because policies are permissions. A role definition lists the operations that can be performed, such as the read, write, and delete. Roles can be high level like owner or specific like a virtual machine reader. Uh, and just to give you an example, so Azure has built-in roles and you can define your own custom roles, but I think you have to pay more to be able to do custom roles because that's through Azure Active Directory. But the built-in roles you need to know, which is owner, contributor, reader, and user access administrator. These are the four fundamental built-in roles. Now, look at the, the graphic there. We have the green and the red. So for an owner, you can read, you can grant, you can create, up, at, update, and delete resources. You can do everything. As a contributor, all you can do is read, create, update, and delete. You can't grant access. You can't, al you can't uh, allow other users uh, to gain access to your resources. Then you have a reader. So a reader, as the name implies, can only read resources. They can't create, up, and delete. They can't grant access to other users. And then a user uh, access administrator uh, only grants. So their job is to uh, uh, give access to other resources, but they can't do anything themselves. Uh, so there you go. That is role-based access controls.